For the next leg of our journey, we booked a place in Salmon Cove. This is on the peninsula that runs between Trinity Bay and Conception Bay in the Avalon section of Newfoundland. This was a lovely, fully equipped unit and the owner was in the process of installing a hot tub. So for future guests, this would be awesome. We used our time here to just relax and have some downtime. We went into Carbonair for supplies and then we just hunkered down in our little abode. While we were here in Newfoundland, we contracted COVID-19, and although we had completed our self-isolation, we were still not feeling 100%. So we've decided to cut our trip short and get home to Ontario. We rescheduled our ferry date to the next available one. We took the Argentia to Sydney Ferry, which is the overnight one. There were no cabins available, so we just booked seats. Honestly though, I would never do this again. We really got very little sleep as they left a bright light on in the salon and the seats really aren't meant for sleeping in. However, we made it to Sydney relatively unscathed and started the trip home. We drove as far as Sackville, New Brunswick the first day and we found this great little place to stay called the Marshlands Inn. The decor was very nice and it had a little fridge. There's a restaurant here, but we didn't try it because we were on a quest for lobster rolls. And we found some at a little family restaurant called Patterson's in Sackville. They were delicious. After that feed, we decided to bring some fresh seafood home with us. And we stopped at Peter's Meat Market in Fredericton, where we bought six live lobster, some scallops and some steaming clams. They packaged them up on ice for us and we were back on the road again. We ended up driving straight through the rest of the way home and we made it in 14 hours. It was a long day, but good to be home. And the trip was pretty uneventful. Now we're ready for our fresh seafood feast. We invited some friends over the next day and cooked up our bounty for a delicious meal. It was so fresh and good. We were so happy to be reunited with Penny. We missed her on this trip, but she was fine staying here with her other mama. Our trip to Newfoundland was awesome. We saw some gorgeous scenery and places we had never been before. The trip was also an eye opener. COVID is alive and well, and we still need to take steps to avoid catching it. Newfoundland is quite expensive for gas, food and accommodation, and the roads can be quite rough. In conclusion, I'm glad we got to see this beautiful province, but we were a bit disappointed we didn't get to finish the Nova Scotia and New Brunswick portions of our planned road trip. Maybe this summer, later, or in the early fall, we'll try it again for those two provinces. In the coming videos, we're going to be do day tripping in and around Ontario for the rest of the summer before heading back to Mexico for the winter. Thanks for coming along on our East Coast road trip, and we'll see you next time. Here we are back home sweet home.